Hello everyone, this is again. I'm going to be doing another reaction video again, and this time I'm reacting to Nathan Sass talk of reviews. And the, and the video of his I'm going to be reacting to is called Trying Rising Kane for the First Time. So yeah, I'm going to be reacting to it. So before you even start, I want to get a disclaimer. If you do not like the content I make, the reaction bills, or any of the other stuff I do on my channel, if you don't like them, then don't watch it somewhere else. Because the only thing you're doing is giving me a view, and that's the damn truth, one. That's the damn truth, and nothing but the truth. So, yeah. So, now, Bob, ready? Let's get the video right now. Let's get it right now. And I am finally getting up to try Raising Cane's, a chicken place that my brother had, and it looked really good. Is it better than Chick-fil-A? I don't know. It's part of my uh, Trying for the First Time series. Get to do these occasionally. This one check out is Swenson, so if you enjoy videos like that, uh, so you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And, uh, yeah, let's actually go ahead and try Raising Cane. So does it raise the bar? Love Chick-fil-A. <laughs> We have here, you put in a styrofoam container. Uh, you know, you got your sandwich and simple paper wrapping with some fries. I like that. So, A plus for effort. Fries, a little loose, crispy, a lot of salt. Not bad. Huh. Put you on my witch's wish review. I got a little taste of that sauce. But I don't know what the Raising Cane sauce is. It's probably some weird flavored ranch. I don't know. Got a good kick to it. Um, it'd probably be a lot better if there wasn't mm. like a lot of salt in the fries. Mm. That impedes the goodness of the of the sauce. Because the sauce, it's good. Mm. I like their sauce. The sauce isn't awful. I'm not, I don't know. I'm really not liking Raising Cane's fries. Mm. But the sauce is good. It's got a nice tanginess to it. Mm. I don't like ranch, but I can get behind like when you mix like ranch and full layers or whatever they mix to get mix together for this. Ten out of ten overall for the raisin cane sauce. Really do like that. I wish they made it in bottles. Alright, right, we got a chicken sandwich. Another good way to check out how good this place is is, is how they do their chicken sandwich. And I, I gotta say, I like right. that nice, nice big piece of chicken with some lettuce. I assume there's some raisin cane sauce on there. That's about it, actually. No onion, no tomato. Very interesting. They know what people want. They want straight to the chicken. I can, I can appreciate that. Like it's soft, but it's crunchy. There aren't any chewy parts, like a chewy part of the chicken. That's really good. There's also good flavor in the chicken, along with the breading. The breading doesn't have a little flavor, nor does the chicken have a little flavor. Because if you have one or the other, you're missing out on stuff. Mm. Personally, you don't have like a good mix. Right. And I, I really do like this a lot. And the bread's soft; it's good. It, this is a top tier sandwich. This is probably the best chicken sandwich I've ever had. Mm. This is a solid ten out of ten. Raising canes, it's really good. I gotta give thank you to the people uh, serving me. I had to wait a little bit, but they were really busy. I won't run dinner time. They, but they were very nice. They worked quickly. Um, I didn't notice that my food was already on the order rack, but the lady was like, "Hey, your food's here. I'm sorry. Like, I'm just 
sidetrack. I can really appreciate that. Mm. I can give them 10 out of 10 for good customer service mm. getting my food. Overall, really good quality food. Uh, for $11, getting fries mm. uh, and a sandwich and some coleslaw. I didn't get a drink because I already have stuff to drink. I think it's a good price. It's, it's also a decent sized sandwich as well. I can really appreciate uh, Raisin Cane's. I really huh. wish I went a little closer to me because uh, I really do like this. I'm really glad my brother got it because I probably would have tried it. Not looking forward to Trey Swenson's though. Next time I get come around here, I get Trey Swenson's. I'm not looking forward to that. They, I've already heard bad things from uh, um, SJ uh, voiceovers. You know, he also does like food stuff. He's the yeah. big daddy food reviews, I guess. He's like, I'll throw it to drops. And, like Badland Chugs. Uh, I'm not excited to try that place. But if you guys want that video, again, leave a like, comment, follow the video, and subscribe to the channel. Right. Uh, you can also me, find all my socials down below. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, follow that down below. TikTok is still here. Uh, you can also find my affiliate for W Energy. Get 10% off your store. Check it. Use code FASTTALK. That's FASTTALK. Check out at WEnergy.com. Guys, have a good rest of your day. Stay beer, do stay faithful. And I'm going to be the video right there. So yeah, that's the end of this reaction film. And I hope you guys like this reaction film. And I hope you guys like it. And I hope you guys do like it. If you don't, then I don't care. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn those notification bells on. Remember to my upload. And share my videos and reaction videos and other videos that do my channel to your friends and family. Also, if you want to, it's your choice. Because I ain't making it So, so yeah. And don't forget to subscribe to Nathan's Fast Talk Reviews. If you're new, subscribe to his channel. If you haven't yet, subscribe again. Subscribe. Subscribe. In order to two subscribers, hope we can hit. And uh, see y'all for more banger content to come and more banger. Banger videos. So, yeah, and I'll see you next time. Jeffrey Jordan signing out. And peace out, Storyline Legends. Storyline Legends. And peace out, everyone.